Hello guys and welcome back to another one or I should say the uh, Commander Weapon from Archery Contest uh, review uh, On this one we're going to talk about uh, another three uh, commanders which uh, are really similar uh, with their 4 star abilities and their, uh, their stats and of course uh, there are three weapons but they're exactly the same uh, compared to each other but obviously uh, different on some stages uh, since we're talking about uh, three different troop types uh, but the special effects from these weapons are going to be uh, almost the same uh, in every aspect uh, for these three commanders so these three weapons are going to be the uh, Andra weapon, the Miranda weapon and the Liana water uh, weapon or this this is going to be a jewel, uh, but Andrea weapon is going to be Lone Ghost Spite, uh, Swamp Whisper is going to be Miranda's, and Pearl Steer is going to be Liana Waters' uh, weapon. Or on this case, it's not a weapon; <laughs> it's a jewel. So uh, those three commanders on their base uh, force ability uh, is going to be the same uh, every time the proportion of your troop type. Uh, if it's uh, higher than the enemy, you're going to get 30% defense uh, and if it's going to be lower, you're going to get 30% attack. Uh, this is going to be the same for every uh, commander of those three, Andra, Miranda and Leana. And uh, every 4th uh, star ability uh, talks about their troop type respectively. So Andra is infantry, Miranda is spearman and Leana is cavalry. Uh, but uh, on their weapon, uh, there is going to be a slight increase in effectiveness from their star ability, 4 star ability. So on this we're going to talk about uh, Andrea weapon uh, but uh, this uh, stuff that I'm going to talk about is going to apply on three, on, on all three uh, weapons. So let's start with talking about the base stats of the weapon uh, on the uh, no stars or the base attributes is going to be 27.5% infantry attack and 6.88% total health. Uh, this is going to be exactly the same for Miranda and Lana, but it's going to be spearman uh, attack and uh, cavalry attack respectively. Uh, the special effects of these weapons uh, are really important since uh, the force of ability is going to complete the chains and now it's not going to be dependent uh, on how many troops the enemy have or if they are more or lower and now the 4 star uh, of the commander is going to be changed by the weapon and uh, it's going to go like that so the infantry attack uh, on this uh, uh, lineup is going to be increased by 35% and every time Andrea casts her army skill, active army skill it randomly increases uh, either infantry defense on, or infantry attack by 5% up to f 15 times which um, if you're really lucky you can get like some crazy amounts of attack or defense uh, but as I said it's going to transfer exactly the same for Miranda as you're going to see here spearman attack by 35 and every time Miranda casts your active uh, army skill uh, you're going to get an increase in defense or spearman attack Exactly the same on cavalry, uh, nothing is going to be different here. Uh, exactly goes up up to 15 times. So, uh, does it ring a bell in your head that every time the commander casts active army skill and all three commanders are female? Yeah, this is really good weapons if you're going to go for female synergy. Uh, and a matter of fact, Leila is just uh, above them. So, you are going to use those commanders in the female lineup using Leila and preferably Salma, since it's going to help uh, activate their active army skills faster. And uh, having the weapon in uh, Andrea, Miranda, or Leana is going to help you since you are going, not going to be dependent from what troop type the enemy is. We are going to have your 35% increase uh, in attack every time uh, and you're going to have the random uh, 
drop between uh, defense or attack uh, by 5% every time you cast your active army skill. Uh, obviously, if you get the weapon 4 star, uh, those stats are going to go up to 15% uh, per uh, active army skill, uh, which if you're really lucky, for example, and you get uh, 15 active army skill uh, with uh, Andrea, and you're only going to go for attack, for example, if you're that lucky, uh, this is going to translate up to 225% uh, infantry attack, which is huge, it's another commander, it's uh, compared to another 9 uh, gold tier uh, infantry attack badges, which in my opinion uh, is going to make a huge difference in the uh, overall output of your lineup. So uh, on the previous uh, episode I talked about the Enzo uh, Lats and Drake weapon uh, and I said that they're not all that worth it. But on this side, Andrea, Miranda and Lana weapons I think are really worth it and are going to make your lineups more effective and as I said, it removes completely the random part of the fight. The random part was that if the enemy had more troops than you, you're going to get attack or uh, if you had less troops, if, uh, if you have more troops than the enemy, you're going to have defense for your lineup. Uh, with those weapons it completely removes everything and now you're going to have attack on attack on attack and maybe some defense if you're unlike in my position in my opinion so Andrea Miranda and Lana web uh, weapon uh, to close the discussion I think that they're all of those are really worth it uh, especially if you're running the female synergy uh, and it's going to boost your overall damage output by a lot and of course choosing uh, what troop type that you are going to uh, use uh, it's going to reflect on the weapon that you should focus on getting uh, because uh, all three weapons are going to uh, unlock you the potential of getting base attack on them and of course getting the base attack as we said many times uh, is going to be the best a thing that you can get for your lineup. Uh, of course, it's going to be exactly the same 100 uh, reforging stores, uh, stones to get a reroll on those weapons, so it's not going to be easy or cheap uh, to reroll those, but of course, any base attack that you can get your hands on is going to be helpful for your lineups. So, this pretty much concludes the talk about those three weapons, and uh, for a short review. Uh, as again, uh, Andrea, uh, Miranda and Leanna uh, weapons are going to be 100% worth it to go and aim for in the archery contest. So thanks for watching guys and I will see you on the next one. I'm waiting and always hesitating Kryptonite desires set my heart afire Set my heart afire